So I just went up to the post office to uh, mail some stuff to the ladies, and then I just figured I'd drive around a little bit and see how things are looking. So I'm just out here passing the Harness Eastfield. Um, that should be cut this week, any day now it looks like. So. So I'm just in here um, making some changes on this statement for one of the landlords. We got all the rest of them done on Saturday and I mailed them out this morning. Um, but we had a couple of things we had to talk to the folks up at Nutrien about just to make sure we didn't double charge this guy. Um, we actually still farm on shares with quite a few of our landlords. I feel like that's going by the wayside as more people are moving towards just straight cash rent. Um, but we still have quite a few that want to continue to be involved in the farm and their land. So pretty cool actually. So we're switching out the chains on the corn head with brushes. We'd had the brushes in the past and really liked them, but we had to switch back to chains last year. So this is what we're taking off and what we're putting back on. <laughs> Just came back from the post office, took the long way to check a couple extra fields, and of course I found some water hemp along the edges, so just gonna go ahead and pull some of that while it's like right there. Oh shoot, this is farther in than I thought. These are wet, real wet. Okay, well, I've done my good deed for the day. So before we go back to the bean field, I'm just out here backpack spray. I've got my backpack on back there, um, just around the, the lot at the shop, just to keep it looking nice and spiffy. So really looking forward to getting back in that auger cart because this is heavy and I'm out of shape.
So it's Thursday morning and we are roughly 5% done with harvest. We've been in the fields for two days now. Um, and we're just getting ready to go in service. Uh, but we uh, we've got diesel fuel in the service truck um, to fuel up at the field and we just leave our equipment in the field uh, if we're not close to the shop. So yeah, we'll probably get back cutting beans after lunch once the beans dry off a little bit. So. So I got this little magnet I saw it on Twitter, a uh, farmer in Indiana makes them. Um, so we're just gonna bump that to roughly 5%. Perfect. Can't wait till we're over here. So it has already been a heck of a day. It's Thursday, yeah, it's Thursday. We started cutting beans after dinner. Um, and I was taking the first load to the trucks in the 8420 when it started throwing codes. And it turns out the engine was overheating and the radiator, like there's something wrong with the radiator, so we need to get that fixed. But until then, I've got the neighbors. Radio interrupted me. So we're running the neighbors 8410 on our car. So thank goodness for good neighbors. And hopefully the 8420 isn't too difficult to fix. This tiny little hole right here is what caused this huge problem. So just going through what? and checking everything, there's a couple of guards uh, that are broken, here. Um, and then one section that we'll have to replace. Okay. So we're putting the duals back on the 8310 so we can put it on the green cart, and then we can go ahead and give our neighbor's tractor back to him. all she wrote for this week folks hopefully next week is another good bean cutting week